This electric offense out of the Buccaneers playbook is the perfect scheme for players who want to sling the rock all game long. This scheme is out of the gun box formation, and today we're going to be looking at how we can use it to destroy both man and zone coverage, even with an elderly man playing quarterback. In this game, we were taking on the Chiefs in a Super Bowl 55 rematch, and before calling any plays, I made sure to put our best route runner, Chris Godwin, at the inside receiver spot. To start off the game, I called an inside zone to Rashad. Shad White, but I was quickly reminded why the Bucks had the worst rushing offense in the league this year. On second down, I went with the best play in this scheme, which is Deep Fork, and on the left side, I built a simple flood concept by putting the outside receiver on a streak and putting the middle receiver on a flat route. Like with any flood concept, we want to read the high-low of the corner and flat route, and Tom Brady was able to deliver a perfect ball to Chris Godwin for a 27-yard gain. On first and 10, I called slants flat to build one of my favorite zone beating concepts in the game where we have a slant, flat, and running back wheel route all on the same side of the field, but Rashad White must have lost the ball in the sun because it sailed right past him for the incompletion. On second down, I went back to deep fork, but this time I ran it completely stock, and a QB who wasn't so old with poor vision probably would have seen the wide open post route deep over the middle, but instead, Brady tried to force the corner route to Chris Godwin, and the result was another incompletion. On third and 10, I went with PA Reed and a really simple setup to attack attack man coverage where I put the solo receiver and the inside receiver on slants and put the middle receiver on a streak to clear out space. Chris Godwin completely torched his man on the slant and a nice juke after the catch got us to the 27 yard line. On first down it was back to inside zone to try and establish some kind of run game but once again it was going nowhere. On second and 11 I called another really great man beating play with slot trail and the trail route here from the inside receiver is the primary read. Both Russell Gage on the drag and Chris Godwin on the trail route torched their man, and Brady was able to hit Godwin on a high ball over the linebacker to get us inside the 10-yard line. On first and goal, the inside alignment of the outside cornerbacks showed that this was once again man coverage, so I went back to our same setup out of PA Reed, and yet again, Chris Godwin got a ton of separation for the easy touchdown. On defense, I was running my nickel over scheme, which is available along with all my other ebooks over at Sp BruceGoose.gg, but on first and 10, I was clicking around on defensive tackles, which is not part of the ebook, and I let my opponent hit tight end Noah Gray up the seam for a 20 yard gain. On the next play, we got back on track with an easy gap shoot up the middle against the 0 1 trap run, and on second down, I usered with Levante David to jump right in front of Travis Kelsey's trail route to bring in the interception and return it to the 35 yard line. On first and 10, I went back to inside zone for our most successful successful run play of the day, and then on second and eight, I went back to our flood concept out of deep fork and once again hit Chris Godwin on the corner route, who had already racked up 97 receiving yards in the first quarter alone. Next, I went with an unusual setup out of the play wide receiver cross, which has a slightly different alignment than the other plays, and my adjustments were to put the solo receiver on a streak and put the front man of our stacked receivers on a slant, with the goal of reading both the slant and the post over the middle and hitting whichever one the user doesn't guard. After the snap, the slant got wide open over the middle and Brady was able to hit Scotty Miller to get us down to the one yard line. First and goal was yet another inside zone that went for no yards, but on second down, I went back to slot trail and wouldn't you know it, Chris Godwin was able to beat his man coverage on the trail route and haul in the catch for his second touchdown of the game. Now on my opponent's next drive, he called the popular play tight end attack out of the single back wing pair formation and apparently he really thought I was in man coverage. Unfortunately for him, I was in cover four quarters, so he threw it right to my safety Mike Edwards who took it all the way for a touchdown down and that was all my opponent could take. But I wasn't happy ending there so I searched again and we matched up with America's team the Dallas Cowboys. Curious to see if we could finally find success on the ground, I started with inside zone, and unfortunately, the results were no different. On second down, I called deep fork completely stock, and Brady was able to hit Mike Evans on this out route, and then we put on a stick work clinic, and I counted about six or seven Cowboys defenders that had a chance at Mike Evans, but nobody could bring him down. My opponent showed on his first drive that he wanted to snap the ball and get rid of it fast, and it worked for him on his first several plays as he got the ball across 
across the 50 yard line. But then on second and 12, we sniffed out this halfback screen the entire time to bring him down for a four yard loss. And then on third and 16, we sent some nickel over heat to hit Dak Prescott before he could get the throw off. On 4th and 16, in true Cowboys fashion, my opponent dumped it off to Tony Pollard, who wasn't even close to the first down line, and we brought him down with ease to regain possession. On first down, I went back to the flood concept out of deep fork and hit Scotty Miller in the flat for a 6-yard gain, and then tried to set up a cover 3 bomb by putting the inside receiver on a streak, but the pass rush came in before the post could get open, and I had to dump it off to Rashad White for a pickup of 5 yards. After struggling to get guys open for a couple plays, on 4th and 10, I once again dialed up our flood concept out of deep fork, and this time Chris Godwin was wide open for a huge 30-yard gain. Next, it was time for slants flat with my favorite flat, slant, and wheel route combo, and Chris Godwin got a ton of separation on the slant to get us down to the 7-yard line. After another unsuccessful rep of inside zone, I called PA Reed again, and sure enough, Iron Man Chris Godwin got open for yet another touchdown. The Cowboys responded with a nice dot to CD Lamb over the middle to get across midfield, but on the following play, I stepped right in front of the in route with Levante David for another user pick. I tried one more time to hit the cover 3 bomb out of deep fork, but the pass rush just wasn't going to let that happen. Going back to slants flat, the running back wheel route was completely unguarded this time, and Rashad White hauled in the pass from Brady for a monster 37-yard gain. On 1st and 10, my opponent showed that he was fully committed to user rushing with Micah Parsons, so on 2nd down, I ran the deep fork flood setup, but this time I blocked my running back, motioned him over to Micah Parsons' side, and double-teamed Parsons before the snap. With the extra blocking, it gave us all the time in the world to keep feeding our team MVP Chris Godwin for yet another touchdown catch. After throwing another pick with Dak Prescott, my opponent was out of there, but I wanted to load into one more game. Our game against the Browns was much of the same, with Chris Godwin absolutely dominating the Browns secondary, first by getting separation on the deep fork corner route to get us in the red zone, and then on the trail route of slot trail to keep his touchdown streak going. After forcing an interception, in the red zone, our offense was rolling once again, and on 2nd and 2 from the 33-yard line, I dialed up wide receiver cross and hit the man himself, Chris Godwin, deep over the middle for a huge 41-yard gain. On the very next play, Chris Godwin got separation yet again on PA Reed, and as you might have guessed, he took it for another touchdown, making that touchdown number 6 in our last 7 possessions. So if you want a scheme to dominate your opponents entirely through the air, and especially if you have a stud receiver who you want to force feed the ball to for multiple touchdowns a game, then gun box out of the Buccaneers playbook just may be the scheme for you. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video for another scheme breakdown. Down.